Hello everyone, Jazz Bragley here from vbolton.com and today I will show you how to change your default vbolton4 logo. Since uh, this has been asked numerous times down over at our official uh, vbolton.com forums, I wanted to like make a quick and short video tutorial on how to change it. And obviously this tutorial is directed for newer users of vbolton. And there are two methods on how to change your logo. One, by replacing the current image via file transfer protocol client, otherwise known as an FTP client, or by replacing the path the logo is directing to. And I will gladly show you how to do both methods. So the first method requires you to have some knowledge with uh, using an FTP client. So assuming you already have knowledge, go to your vbolton4 form and right click the logo. And uh, depending on the type of browser you have, choose View Image, or uh, in my case, since I'm utilizing Google Chrome, Open Image in New Tab. And it appears that my current logo is in the Images slash MISC directory with the file name vbolton4 underscore logo dot png. So go to your FTP client and use the address to help direct you to your logo. So uh, Images and then find misc and then scroll down until you see vbolton4 underscore logo dot png and there it is so let's replace it with a new logo by going to the image you want to replace it with and I'll be using the vbolton uh, man logo so upload it to the current directory into your FTP client and then afterwards refresh the client and find the file you just uploaded so vbman.png and I'll change the name to the current file name. So uh, right click the file and rename it to the current logo file name, which in my case was a vbolton4 underscore logo.png. And then afterwards, go back to your vbolton form and refresh the page. So it seemed like it worked on my end. And uh, obviously, it's not very aesthetically pleasing due to the logo being too large and not fitting in with the current style. But I wanted to make a point here. Unlike the previous version, the vbolton4 header resizes your, uh, your logo size needs. So instead of having to constantly resize your logo to fit the header, the header resizes to your logo. And in my opinion, this function is much easier because you don't have to worry about a logo being the quote exact size as the form header. And it's very flexible. So yeah, that was method one. Now let's go to method two. And uh, method two consists of replacing the path the logo is directing to. So it's very simple really. Just go to your vbolton admin control panel, styles and template, style manager, and um, on the style you want to change the logo to, go to the drop down option and choose edit templates. And then uh, find the header template. And then once you click on it, uh, find the um, curvy brackets vb colon style var space title image and curvy brackets and just replace that code with the URL that your new logo is located in. So as an example I've already pre-uploaded an image down at Image Shack so just copy the URL and replace the code in the header template with the URL of the new logo and you know just save. Now um, go back to your forum and see if the logo changed and if it did congrats you've successfully changed the default logo of your vbolton4 forum. So uh, yeah, anyways, if you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please subscribe and check back for more. We will constantly add new videos to our channel. Enjoy!